welcome back to my channel and today i'm so excited because i ordered tokyo treat so tokyo treat is like this japanese subscription you can get online um so i paid 35 dollars and got express shipping so like one to two days you can get your stuff if you pay the extra ten dollars but if you don't want to that's completely fine you could just pay your 35 dollars and you'll get it in about i think a week or two um and it's actually 35 dollars if you um you know don't want to pay like uh contract subscription so if you just do it like a one-time thing or pay month to month it's gonna be like $35 a month um, I got the three month subscription so I made sure that you know I'm paying for three months at least so I got a little bit of a discount and I got it for $33 a month um, for the three months so if you want to just try it one time and see how you like it then just pay the $35 if you do the one year subscription I think you um, can get a discount for like only $30 a month so if you love Japanese snacks yeah like I have no idea what's inside so let's find out together just gonna open it up So it says, um, premium box from Japan with love. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna flip it over. Treat yourself. Spread the love, post and tag, Tokyo treat. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oop. Okay, oh my gosh, this is crazy so much snacks oh my gosh okay where do i start so first you get i guess this little cute little brochure looks like anime characters adorable mm. oh i see this everywhere i don't play this game or anything like that but i see this doggy looking thing everywhere i don't know what it is i'm pretty sure it's part of a game probably a very popular japanese or anime game um Oh, June snack menu. So this is June snack menu. I guess it'll tell me everything that's in here. That's awesome. I was not expecting this. Um, Tokyo Treat Gallery, birthdays in Japan. When we talk about birthdays and birthday parties, many people imagine celebrating it with their close friends and family. Other people think of big parties and everyone thinks cake, but birthdays are celebrated a little differently in Japan. In the past, Japanese people didn't really celebrate individual birthdays. Hmm, that's kind of sad. Instead, people consider their age to increase with the new year on January 1st. But when American culture became more popular in the 1950s, people began to celebrate their own birthday. Wow, okay, I had no idea that everybody just celebrated their birthday on like January 1st. That's crazy. You would just be like going around saying happy birthday to everyone on the first. I guess that's kind of cute too. I mean, you can celebrate your birthday with everyone. Um, then the Americans came in and changed everything. All right, so for children, parents plan small parties for their child and their friends with plenty of snacks in their homes. People often go to restaurants for small parties organized by close friends. Obviously, the birthday person doesn't pay. Um, so that is Asian culture, also um, Chinese culture as well. Uh, if it's your birthday and you go out with your friends to eat at a restaurant, um, you usually don't have to pay. Um, so Japanese apartments are small and have thin walls. That I have heard of, even though I haven't been to Japan. Um, making big home parties hard without annoying the neighbors, but couples like to plan quiet birthday dates at home. And of course, everyone gets presents. Probably the most iconic part of a Japanese birthday is a classic cake. This super popular cake is the image of a Japanese birthday. A thick Victoria sponge with a fresh cream and fresh strawberry cream filling, coated in fresh whipped cream and topped with strawberries and a chocolate message plate. A must for any Japanese birthday party. Now you know about Japanese birthday parties. Make sure to eat lots of tasty Tokyo snacks if you do. It's very cute. Aw, and just pictures of people who received their uh, boxes. So cute. All right, so first thing here. Oh my gosh, just, I don't know what this is, but it looks like a 
sweet potato or yam kind of thing. It's all in Japanese, so I have no idea the ingredients are in Japanese. In the US, when you purchase Japanese snacks from like Japanese grocery markets and whatnot, they'll always have like English at the back. So I guess for this, you won't be able to um, see what's actually in the ingredients, but I guess that's what the brochure is for. So let me, let me look at this one and see what this one is. I can just tell you guys before I open it and try it. Ooh. Interesting. I'm just trying to match the pictures here. Huh. Weird. Okay. So, <laughs> so my June snack menu, it's just like this big and I try to look for this one in here. It's not on it. So I'm thinking maybe this is like part of their gift package. Cause I know that um, since I purchased their June box and I got the subscription, they were like tossing in extra things. So I think this is one of my extra like snacks that was given like a bonus snack, which is pretty sweet. Um, not gonna complain about bonus snacks, but yes, this definitely looks like yam to me, just like the purpleness of it. Um, but yeah, oh, look at the back. So it definitely looks like some type of a chocolatey, delicious little thing. Okay, excited. Okay, so let's try this one first. Ooh. It's like they're in like these little square, cute little pieces. I tried this one. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that looks so good. It's pink. Mmm, okay, that definitely smells like yam. It smells like delicious purple yam. Mm. Basically just like a sweet potato. Um, I just call it yam, but I'm pretty sure yam, sweet potato, ube, it's just like different names from different cultures, but it's the same thing. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like it might be healthy because it's like sweet potato, but like also smells really good. Like if you really tasty. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, the aroma of this is nuts. Mm. Look at that. So there's like this wafer in there. There's like this yam chocolate coating. And on the bottom, it almost tastes like chestnut or something. And it's a little slightly darker. It's like melt in your mouth. Mm, so good. Okay. Let's see the next one. Okay, so this one, let me try to match it on here. Hmm. Is this another bonus one? Or it's on here. Oh my gosh, looks like another bonus because I'm not seeing it on my list, which has premium and classic. So I guess like every month they'll have something different and the classics there's more classics than the premium and since i guess i pay for the premium box um there's like one two three four five extra things in here um and then the classic includes one two three four five six twelve so twelve snacks for the classic section and then um you get five for your premium so not bad but yeah this is on another it's another bonus that's amazing it's like Christmas and Valentine's Day, everything all together. Okay, so this one, I don't know, I can't read the back of it or anything, but oh, I've, guys, I'm so silly. It says bonus on the back, so this is obviously like a bonus snack. Um, so this one looks almost like a red bean kind of thing. If you look at the picture, you see like it's like a little, I guess, traditional style Japanese snack. Um, definitely looks like red bean to me because usually with Asian desserts, if you see like kind of like that red dark tint, you'll just know eventually that it's red bean. Uh, it's 
Ooh. Ooh, so you can look at the picture. It's just like a tiny little snack on top of it. So cute. Wow, so yeah, it looks just like the one that we just had previously. Both the bonuses. Mmm, this smells interesting. The other one smelled exactly like yam. Um, I have no idea what this one smells like. It just smells good. Mmm. Mmm. This has like a chew to it. The other one was just like melt in your mouth. Mmm. Still very sweet. And like it's covered in chocolate. This is really, really good. Mmm. This one's really good. And it has like a like a chew to it. I think they put like some type of a natural um, nut or bean in here that gives it that nice texture. So that one that I just had was very rich. This red bean um, looking one. Really like a bean, more bean-like flavor than the first one. But the first one I think I like better because I like yam a lot and it's just this crazy sweet smooth yam flavor but they're both good both the bonuses are a plus for me so let's try another one okay so another bonus okay this one looks like cake so this one's pretty obvious at least it just looks like one of those swirly like swiss swirl cakes i actually don't know who started the style um i know they're called like swiss cakes the ones that look like that so the swiss or Japanese, I don't know, because I see it in a lot of Japanese stores too, so I don't know who started the style, but cake is cake. I'm sure this is gonna be delicious. And I see like a little purple fruit here, so I don't know if it's grape flavored or something unique, but I'm so excited. worth the wait. Okay, same shape again, different color, but I know it's gonna be good because I know it's chocolate. Okay, this smells like a like a grape mixed with like blueberry. It smells like a sweet berry. Mmm. Oh. Oh my gosh, this tastes like a has like a grape jelly flavor to it. Oh, I love fruity flavors. This is so good. Okay. I think if I were to line the three that I just had up, um, it would be, I think still yam first. I don't know why it was so good. Probably the yam one first. And then this one, cause it just gives you this like pop of grape flavoring that's really strong. And I don't know if you can see it, but um, you can, it's like a jelly texture this time. So all, three chocolates even though they look the same um they all have completely different textures so the first one had like more of a wafer um texture to it like yam um and then the second one had like that bean texture um and this one has like a jelly pop texture to it it's just like pop in your mouth kind of like a um like an like a jelly boba kind of thing it'll just you'll have that fruity pop flavor and it really stands out because you're having chocolate with like a fruitiness that pops out from it so it's so good mm. <laughs> they melt really quick <laughs> i swear maybe on the top they just put like all bonuses or something because this is another bonus bonus um I wonder if this is like butter or like milk or some type of a definitely like a dairy dessert thing that they're trying to imitate here. But once again, one of another one of our chocolate buddies. Ah. I'm so excited to taste this one because I usually love like buttery, dairy, like anything with like milky flavors. I love. Ooh, this literally just looks like butter trick people into thinking this is butter <laughs> okay ah. 
Mmm, okay. Yeah, it smells like like a milky, buttery thing. Mmm. Mmm. tastes better than butter and milk more than I could have wished for it tastes so good it's like it's not exactly like milk or butter but it makes you think about milk and butter this one doesn't have any crazy stuff that sticks out in in the actual chocolate like the other ones like it didn't have like a jelly um, texture or like a bean texture or anything or a wafer it's just very creamy and smooth it almost tastes like a mixture of like bean, like a sweet mum bean maybe, with like butter and like dairy. I just can't tell through the picture, but it's also really, really good. Favorite is still the yam one. Um, favorite is definitely this one. Um, I think number two would be the grape one or this cake one. And then the red bean one because of the texture and lastly this one but honestly I love them all <laughs> and these are just the bonuses okay okay this does not say bonus on the back so this is actually part of our classic I think yes Mike's premium caramel popcorn god oh my god it looks so good Ooh, it says from Italy. Interesting. Maybe the Tokyo Tree Company had this imported from Italy and then shipped to Japan. I don't really know the process of it, but I'm excited to have Italian snacks, to have Japanese snacks that were made from Italy. It's like you don't even have to travel the world and you get to try everything. So this is the premium caramel popcorn. I wonder if it's gonna taste any different from just like regular American caramel popcorn. Um, the ones that you can get at Kernels or really anywhere. Ooh, okay, so it looks kind of similar. Mm, smells similar to regular American style caramel popcorn. Let's try it. Mmm. That is rich. Some delicious caramel popcorn. Okay, great melt in your mouth, but also has that crispiness, crunchiness on the outside. Um, crazy fresh, but I will say that this one is not like a mind blower for me because I feel like good caramel popcorn you can get in Chicago. Um, you could just get it at the movie theater sometimes, depending on how fresh it is. Usually the only problem I have with um, caramelized popcorn is that if you get it from certain stores um, and it's not fresh, then you don't get that like crisp, fresh taste in the beginning when you bite it. I mean, it's still good, but I think the best caramel popcorns are the ones that are like, um, it makes you feel like they just kind of pop the popcorn and then had the caramel poured all over it like on the same day this is what it tastes like it tastes like it's completely fresh um but the only issue is when i went to chicago um i felt like the popcorn there was one of the best that i've had and overall i never really had that big of an issue looking for a good caramelized popcorn so this one is kind of like meh for me um but still very very good not disappointed at all premium grape it's a premium grape Ooh, fanta i'm like i see it okay grape fanta okay i've had grape fanta before but definitely not in this type of bottle and not from japan so i wonder if it tastes any different from regular fanta from america no idea but i don't know why is it just because that like everything that's coming out of this box I know is from Japan, therefore automatically I'm like <laughs> treating everything like it's way more special? No idea, but I will try not to be biased. Ooh, okay. 
Ah, it's bubbling, it's bubbling. Okay, every time I open up <laughs> drinks, uh, like soda drinks and stuff like that, I always open it, but I don't take the cap off right away just because I've had too many accidents as a kid where I spilled the drink everywhere, sometimes on carpet, which is not fun. Mm. Ooh, okay, that grape smell is amazing. Looks like some seriously concentrated grape juice. Like the color is really dark and natural looking. It almost feels like I'm about to drink wine. Okay, let's get my wine glass ready. Oh, look at that color. Mm, I never had grape juice this good before. It just, it tastes so natural. It doesn't taste like, you know when you have like your orange Fanta usually, it just tastes like very watered down, um, clearly powdered orange flavor. This one's so rich. It's like you're having um, like the richest grape juice with a side of soda flavoring to it. It's perfect. And the sweetness level, it's not overly sweet as like that natural grape punch to it. This is so good, guys. Just look at it. It looks so good. Mm, I love this. Okay. Very, very thankful for this one. Now I think it makes sense why they had to differentiate themselves and make such a cool bottle because it tastes nothing like the regular American Fanta. I guarantee you that. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Look how long that is. <laughs> That's insane. Okay. Um, okay, it's called a long sakuru gummy. Grape slash orange. Ooh, does that mean there's two in here? Let me search for the other one. Hmm. Weird. Okay, now, I just, it says grape slash orange on my snack menu that says for the premium. So this is one of the premium ones. Um, I guess I got the orange one, which is fine because I just had the grape Fanta, so can switch it up. But I guess maybe you just get one of the long gummies. It says, this party isn't stopping. Like the long, long Sakura, I hope I'm saying that right. Like the long Sakura gummy, this super long fruity and chewy she gummy is 50 centimeters long. Impress your friends and family with this unique Japanese treat. Oh, I will impress myself. Okay. Um, so excited. I have no idea. Oh my God, that's so cute, guys. It literally has, it has a ruler on the back. So it says 50 centimeters right here. Look at that. Oh my God, that's adorable. Look at that. 50 centimeters. And I guess it starts here. The beginning of the ruler. So if you don't eat it, you could use this as a ruler. I can't remember the last time I used a ruler, to be honest, but if I wanted one, I got this. Let's open this up and try it. Okay, never mind. That's weird. It says it's okay. I feel a little bit deceived because I'm like feeling for it to open it up, right? And it says 50 centimeters plus 10 centimeters. And that's what I thought that this section was. Remember how I told you to start it at zero and then it ends at 50, right? Yeah, it ends at 50 right here. So I thought that this section was for the 10 centimeters, okay? It's not, it's completely <laughs> empty here. So I think it's just still, um, 50 centimeters unless it's because I don't understand Japanese and I'm reading it wrong but I think this is just 50 centimeters worth of gummies not the I don't know why it says plus 10 centimeters but it's not Ooh. so excited oh 
Oh my God, the color is amazing, guys. Woo! Look at that. Oh my God. The, okay, the texture is really, really different. Look at how bouncy that is. This is like the bounciest. Okay, this is like the bounciest gummy I've ever seen in my life. And the color is amazing. Like, <laughs> oh my God, it smells like orange Fanta. Oh my God. Oh, and then you can pull it, you can rip it apart. It's kind of like cheese strings too. This is like so many things in one. I just like melted in my mouth so I guess this there isn't like a crazy chew to it it's just so soft but the texture I can't even explain it like I've never had gummy like this so you know when you have like fruit roll up and there's more of like that bounce and pull to it and then when you put it in your mouth you're, you're like chewing a bit at least this is as thin um, as a fruit roll up, if not like thicker, right? But there's no chewiness to it. It just like kind of melts in your mouth and it has like this, uh, like when you first put it in your mouth, it feels like it's like gum or something, but it just like melts away. There's no chew to it at all. And the taste is amazing. Crazy, light, subtle sweetness and very strong orange flavor. It's really, really good. So I would like this better, actually, I think, if it was chewier, but the texture is definitely something to try if you've never had um, melt in your mouth type of gummy. Like this is the softest gummy I probably have ever had and also the flattest and most ruler looking one. So it's definitely um, very, very unique. I'm glad that I got to try this. Just not my favorite favorite, but very, very cool. Okay. Let's try another one. Ah, so cute. Okay, corn. This looks like corn puffs to me. Um, let's see. Okay, so it's called Lucky Corn, a salty and crunchy corn puff snack. This addictive snack will have you going back to the party snack buffet. Can you resist eating all in one go? Okay, that was a description, and it's part of our classic um, of the month. Mm. Ah. So this looks similar to like, I guess, a lot of other corn snacks that I've had, whether it's Asian or American. Mm. Okay, 100% delicious, um, but have I had it before? Yes. <laughs> Mm, honestly, it just tastes like any um, Korean or Chinese or American corn kind of chip type of snack. So this one's good, but not that out of this world. It's kind of like the caramel popcorn one that we tried earlier. Um, you can get it elsewhere. Oh my God, there's so much more in here. Um, this one. I'm just kind of like taking out the small little ones, get those out of the way. So let's try this one. It's called the Chibi Maru Chocolate. It's bright and colorful. It, this rainbow chocolate treat is perfect for any lively birthday party. The crunchy and sweet chocolate is good on its own or great as cake decoration. See how cute this is. Oh my God, there's like nothing in here. <laughs> it's literally like two M&Ms. Okay, I feel deceived. I was waiting for something like really special to come out of there. Um, yeah, dude, this is like a light purple, pinkish, and blue Smarty. Smaller than a regular Smarty too. Gotta give it to them though. They really excite you with their menu. Okay, this is literally just a smarty.
matcha cookie. Okay, I'll read the description. Um, Tokyo Treat loves Japanese flavors and J Japan inspired snacks. We wanted to re represent our roots and celebrate our birthday with a tasty, crunchy, heart shaped matcha cookie treat. Okay, so it is what it is. I don't think I'll be deceived here. Um, matcha cookie should just taste kind of matcha ish. At least it's heart shaped. This one doesn't actually smell like matcha, but has like little specks of like green or like black in there. Interesting. So this this matcha cookie tastes like a light green tea kind of biscuit. I think I could probably find this elsewhere or probably make a matcha cookie myself that's sweeter on um, green and uh, with a stronger matcha green tea kick to it. So this matcha heart cookie didn't do it for me. <laughs> The marshmallow, I don't really like marshmallow, so I think I'm kind of biased, but yeah. Um, I'm kind of sad that this was part of their premium um, June snack menu. Like premium, I would think that it would be very unique and special, like the orange ruler thing. That was cool. Um, this one being this tiny and just not really appealing at all or special in any way it's just like a regular marshmallow i mean it, unless it tastes like rainbows or something i don't see how this made it onto the premium menu and i'm saying that even without tasting it uh, oh well there you go i was just a marshmallow um so a little disappointed Tokyo treat in the marshmallow dice that you called it because it had a couple dots on the wrapper. Um, this was probably the lamest one. I hope it's the lamest one in the whole box, but so far this is more lame than the Smarties <laughs> because at least the Chibi Maro chocolate, um, it succeeded in deceiving me for a little bit when I was reading the menu. <laughs> But, okay, so the marshmallow one is just a marshmallow. I, that does not deserve to be in the premium section. Um, but yeah, if you like marshmallows, then there you go. And surprisingly, um, this pudding marshmallow is part of the classic section of the menu. It's not even the premium, but I'm more excited to eat this marshmallow than I was the diced marshmallow where I knew it was just a regular marshmallow. Okay, so the pudding marshmallow says, desserts make a birthday party. This soft and fluffy marshmallow is filled with a pudding cream paste. Mm. A tasty Japanese dessert inspired snack. Okay, now that's cool. I don't know why we didn't have a bigger one of this or have this make it to the premium menu, but that's my take on it. Um, <laughs> If I was part of the snack committee of Tokyo Treat, I would definitely put this on the premium section or maybe make like five of these. Oh. I've never had marshmallow with like pudding inside, so. Mmm, and it smells better than the first marshmallow crap that I had. Okay, this, nah. This one smells so much better than this one which smells like nothing. Mm, oh my God. It's so creamy and rich already. Mm. Oh my God. Okay, so there's no chocolate in here. I don't know why I thought that smelled like chocolate, but it is just pudding paste, but it's so good. I don't know what they put in here. Guys, this is amazing. This right here is special. Never had marshmallow with pudding paste inside. And it's like yummy pudding cream. Mmm. Very nice texture in the cream. That's unique. I like this one. And we have this one, um, which is the Marukawa Grape Gum. 
So it says, these juicy gumballs are a refreshing mini snack that are popular among Japanese kids and adults alike. They make a nice party favor too. This reminds me of other people's childhood candies. Like, I've seen other kids eat these when I was young, but I don't really remember eating these. But yeah, I feel like this is something I could probably find at Daiso or like a Mitsua, um, any Japanese snack stores in the US. So, not crazy excited about this one. Ooh, I like the color. It's a gumbo. Mmm. Doesn't really smell like anything. Didn't smell really grape like. It didn't smell like anything. It's not like, like a strong smelling candy or anything. I guess maybe because it's gum. The flavor is there. Spot on. Have I had flavors like this? Yeah, I think it's pretty generic. Um, I think it's yummy. But I know I can find this um I'm just going to Asian grocery stores. Mitsuwa, um, Daiso. So this is not that unique to me. Sorry. And like it's been like less than a minute since I've been chewing on this. Um well, the flavor's already gone. So like <laughs> this doesn't last a long time. Um it's pretty much like a quick one minute chew and then the flavor is done. There's like no more. I'm still pretty impressed with this box. It's just that I'm more impressed with some things over others. I still can't get over that marshmallow. That's ridiculous. They literally gave me a square marshmallow and it's part of the premium. I think the words premium in my mind I'm just expecting too much because that hurt. That marshmallow does not belong on the same section as this amazing Fanta grape. Ooh, okay, so I see something from the premium section that looks like it's premium. Um, it's called the Black Thunder Party Pack. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like, looks like chocolate to me, right? look like chocolate bars. Ooh, okay, so it says Choco Bar Japan. Choco Bar Japan. It says Black Thunder Party Pack. We're kicking your party off with a classic Japanese chocolate bar. This crunchy and chocolatey cookie is one of the most popular treats in Japan. Ooh, perfect for sharing with friends and family. Yes, I'm excited if it's one of the most popular treats in Japan. I hope they're not lying to me. I'll find out for myself. Ooh, we got a couple in here. Okay. It looks pretty cool. Ooh, wonder what it's gonna taste like. Okay, so it's definitely milk chocolate. So it looks like it's melted a little bit. I feel like that's probably um, due to how hot it is in LA and or maybe how long it's been sitting in the car for the FedEx guy. I don't know, but maybe when you get your packet, you know, open it up quick and throw it in the fridge. And you can see the little like pieces. It looks like it's gonna be really crunchy, which I'm excited for. Mmm. Oh my God. They are so good. I taste like, it tastes like a rich chocolate cake mixed with Oreo explosions inside. Oh my God. And crazy, crazy good smell. Oh man, that is so good. You can see like, I guess that's why it's called the Black Thunder Party Pack or why it's called Black Thunder. Cause you can see like the outside is milk chocolate, but the inside is kind of like this darker chocolate or like a, almost like an Oreo cookie biscuit kind of thing. And it's just so good guys. Oh my God, this is like one of the best chocolates I've ever had. Mm. 
they're so like perfectly crunchy Ooh, i think that's like a nut in here or something i don't get to taste it yet but it's so good the outside is like melt in your mouth milk chocolate um and the inside is just like this crazy delicious oreo and rich dark chocolate tasting wafer cookie thing mm. oh that was not a nut <laughs> that was like a wafer crunch so i guess they have like layers of like wafer crunch oreo cookie crunch thing inside oh my god i think like because everything's in japanese like i can't really I'll flip the packet around and see what the ingredients are inside so it just makes everything like a mystery pack which is awesome because <laughs> you really have to taste for it yourself and be like "Ooh, what's that tastes like oreos or tastes like a chocolate cake okay this one so far is my favorite like definitely my favorite thing from this entire box um it's so good i can't even it's so good i want to like just lick this wrapper don't judge me mm. <laughs> but yeah so this chocolate right here this black thunder party pack officially saved this entire tokyo tree box for me the whole experience it just it cannot be bad anymore even though we had our setbacks like the lame plain generic marshmallow that was on the premium section um it's okay because <laughs> this baby won the race for everybody else <laughs> i'm happy with my purchase um honestly even having spent 33 dollars for just having been able to try this um the grape fanta and the orange ruler gummy thing over here even though it's not my favorite texture so these three things plus the bonuses bonus chocolates in the front like the yam flavor and all that that already did it for me to be honest like i am happy with paying 33 dollars just to try these ones because honestly like i've gone to japanese grocery stores and i spent 30 dollars easily and you know sometimes you just come home with like a little bit of snacks and sometimes they don't taste good or you know you end up finding it at another grocery store for cheaper because for example at Mitsua I bought this strawberry chocolate um the other day and it looked really cool um it was like four or five dollars I was really annoyed when I saw it at Daiso for only like 250 so I paid double um at Mitsua for a chocolate I could have gotten at Daiso so honestly like I'm glad that I'm trying these unique snacks from the Tokyo treat box that I can't get elsewhere so therefore you won't second guess yourself like oh um I could have gotten this for cheaper uh, at another place or see it at somewhere else for a discount um yeah I'm happy with $33 on just the things that I just mentioned now. And mainly for just this baby. I think this is worth like $10, honestly. It's perfect. Okay, so this is part of the classic June box, Sakura Oreos. Ah! Okay, so I'm just gonna read the menu and see what they have to say. Um, Japan always adds a unique spin to any snack. The cherry blossom cream in these classic Oreo cookies have a gentle sweetness and elegance that sets them apart from other Oreos. Let's try this Sakura Oreo. It actually says Oreo um, crispy Sakura chiffon cake. Never even knew that there was such a thing as crispy Oreos, let alone crispy sakura blossom oreos so i guess it's like a sakura cake flavor so it's like having a flower cake and oreo at the same time oh look at this cute little packaging okay let's see how many there are in there okay so, so there's three of these in here here in the US, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, they have a box like this, but on the inside, usually they waste a lot of 
unnecessary plastic, um, like a clear plastic to keep all the Oreos intact, um, which I think is pretty bad for the environment, I guess. It's so much better for the environment and much easier to just kind of take your snack to go, I think. I think their Disneyland in Japan has turkey legs for sale. But instead of just handing you a turkey leg like they do everywhere else in the world, um, I saw that they were give like customers were given these little cute mitts or like gloves that were like made of plastic, and it was in the shape of like a dinosaur claw or something. I think it's from Toy Story. I'm not sure, but it was like this green claw um, to put your hand through to hold your turkey leg. That is just both hygienic and adorable. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, they are thin. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, so it just says Oreo on it. <laughs> Guess I was hoping for some crazy flower design, but that's cool. It's so thin that you can't even see like the cream inside or what color it is. Ooh, oh my god. That does not smell like an Oreo. It smells like flowers. That's so crazy. Mmm, and it's pink inside. Whoa, that is really, really crispy. Mm, smells like flowers. This is so interesting. Tastes nothing like a regular Oreo. Mm. Even though it is thin and it looks like there's no cream in it when you look at it from the side before I took a bite into it, um, the cream is just right. I don't feel like there needs to be any more cream. Okay, that was hands down the coolest Oreo flavor I've ever had. And I've had a lot, like their um, mint flavors, um, birthday editions, I don't know, double fudge, triple fudge, all their crazy stuff. Um, but this is the most unique Oreo flavor I've ever had, and I think I will ever have. Black Thunder is still my favorite, but this one comes in second. Unreal. All right, so only got a few more left. Um, this one, Texas corn potage snack. I don't know if it was trying to say potato, but it, it says Texas corn potage, potage snack. Um, this crunchy and light corn potage snack is perfect for a creamy treat when you need a post-party pick-me-up that gives your belly a warm feeling. Okay, so I guess maybe potage means like a potato soup or like a corn potato soup corn potage i have no idea what corn potage is i don't know is that french um or is that just like a japanese way of saying a soup flavor i don't know this looks interesting i have no idea what corn potage is no idea what texas corn potage is so this is not like the corn puff that we got here this one was your very generic smelling corn puff I think as like I mentioned to you guys before just smells like something you can get at any grocery store anywhere um this one has a very I would say more natural more authentic corn smell it looks similar though the little ball shapes it looks kind of like the the other one Okay, melt in your mouth type of texture, just like this corn flavor one, but definitely more authentic, a little bit saltier. This tastes more of like a creamy corn soup chip, whereas this one just tastes more of like a corn puff chip, but they're both that strong corn flavor thing. I personally actually like this flavor better but this one's unique too. Um, I guess if you want something saltier, a little more different than your 
average corn puff, but these two are like meh for me. I'm not that big of a fan of these because I feel like it's just too similar to basic corn puffs that I could find here without going to Japan. This is set. This one is from the premium section. Okay, so this is the last one from the premium section. Um, remember there was only five. So at least it's not as disappointing looking as the marshmallow. I really hate the marshmallow. <laughs> okay, so this one is called the lemon squid snacks. Something a little sour and refreshing to break up the sweet and salty snacks. This tasty squid snack is a light treat and popular snack among adults in Japan. I wonder why, because I don't think kids want to have a squid snack. Um, this is funny because I had no idea it would be squid. It looks very refreshing, like maybe it would have some type of like a lemon bar in here or something, but at least it is lemon. Um, so let's try it, this lemon squid snack. Ooh. Whoa. I wouldn't know that this is a squid if I didn't read the menu. <laughs> I would just think that it looks like a regular puff pastry or chip of some sort. It looks like it's gonna be really crunchy. You can smell lemon. But yeah, it just honestly it smells like a salty lemon biscuit. That's crazy. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It tastes fishy. Right away you can, you can't smell the fishiness. Oh, but you can taste the fishiness. A strong lemon taste in your mouth. So it's just like lemon and squid. That's literally what it is. It's just extremely fishy a lot of lemon like a huge it's like someone threw a lemon in my mouth and then stuffed some fish balls in it too yeah not for me i don't think i'm gonna take another bite of this i mean it might be for someone else someone who likes crunchy savory squid snacks and you love lemons that might be interesting for you but oh my gosh this one is is I don't know what's worse, this one or that marshmallow dice we had. I think this might be my least favorite one. Actually, no, no, nothing can be worse than the marshmallow dice. So I retract that. Marshmallow dice is still the worst. This comes in second last place for me. It's too much. I thought my Tokyo treat box would be filled with sweet deliciousness. I wasn't ready for all that fishiness. Yeah, I love squid. I can eat squid on its own. I can eat grilled squid, dried squid, um, but usually in like barbecue flavors or like spicy flavors or just salty. Never had it with lemon. I like lemon separately. I think together the two is not for me. Um, hence why maybe it says it's popular among adults. Maybe I'm more like a kid. So yeah, no thanks. No thanks. Okay, this is the last tiny one I can see from the box. Okay, our box is almost done. Hmm. All right. Ooh. So this just looks like grape jelly. Okay, it's called Grape Ball. Um, a mini Japanese jelly treat. The sweet grape jelly has a vivid purple color and refreshing grape aroma. A classic birthday party treat popular with kids. I feel like these are all birthday treats that are popular with kids. But this immediately looks more appetizing to me than what I just had. So it's not spilling all over my hands or anything. It's actually staying intact. Okay, I'm very happy with this. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. I think I just love grape. Um, this is definitely the snack pack for you um, for June. If you like grape flavors. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, so good. 
it's so tiny but packed with flavor it tasted like the fanta the fanta drink but even stronger i feel like usually grape candy has a strong flavor to it already so you always know that you're having grape something that jelly was not that special for me um i've had it many times in the past um jelly, grape jelly usually tastes like that so not too up there for me but still good still good because i like grape it looks so cute it has a little cow on it and cheese i wonder if it's like cheese puffs or something okay it's called cheese senbai i wish i knew what these japanese words meant but we love cheese, so we wanted to give you a Japanese cheese senbai cracker pack to add some creamy cheese goodness to your snack party. Yay. Yeah, I did feel like this pack had a lot of grape flavors in it, corn stuff, um, chocolate, but I was hoping for more dairy, like more cheesiness. It's like, I have such high hopes for this because I love dairy cheesy flavors. For snacks. Hmm, what an interesting shape. Look at that. It's like a little scoop. <laughs> okay, on the drier end of things. Actually, doesn't taste like cheese at all. It tastes less flavorful than a shrimp cracker. It's so bland that I have to <laughs> keep trying it to see if I could taste more out of it, but it doesn't taste like cheese at all. It doesn't even taste like butter. And it's not sweet. And it's not very salty. Why does it just taste like a bad flavored, bland version of a shrimp cracker? Those Asian little Chinese shrimp cracker things or Korean shrimp crackers. Yeah, nope. Better than the squid and better than the marshmallow and the Smarties, but no, I don't like it. If you made it this far with me. Our last snack, I've emptied the box. Okay, so the last one is called Okonomiyaki Snacks. Okay, so I actually know what Okonomiyaki is. Okonomiyaki. I hope I'm saying right. Okonomiyaki. Yes. So Okonomiyakis are what you see here. Actually, I guess that's not a great picture of it. But basically, it's like a Japanese, I would like to say, seafood pancake because I had the seafood version but it's basically like a Japanese um, pancake where you can put like noodles inside. Um, the sauce that you see up here is like this um, teriyaki sweet kind of sauce on top. So it's a very like decadent rich dinner, I would say, maybe even lunch. It's, a, it's definitely an entree. Um, I'm pretty sure there's eggs in there, definitely scallion and definitely noodles or at least that's what, the one that I chose. But you can choose different types of ok okinomiyaki, but I think what makes it an okinomiyaki is that it definitely has layers, it has vegetables, it has eggs, it has the kind of crepe layers, um, and the sauce. Mm. Yay, I'm so glad we get to end it off with this one. Um, so yeah, let's read it. It says, a must try for all Japanese food lovers. Okinomiyaki is a sweet and savory pancake people make with their friends. This crunchy and savory sweet snack brings the party vibes. Yes, it does. Oh, so cool. I never had an okinomiyaki anything other than the actual thing. Oh, interesting. On the back it says Texas corn. So I don't know what, are they just like partnered up with Texas or something. I don't know. This, I'm seeing Texas corn a lot. Or earlier it was a Texas. This one is called a. Or it's not written on the package, but this one on the menu says it's the Texas corn potage snack. So Texas. Okay. Smells 
smells just like the pancake. Ooh. Smells salty, teriyaki-like, and very flavorful, even though it looks kind of plain, but looks like they all look the same. My gosh, this one and the and the Texas corn potage, the corn puffs. They all have the same shape, but it smells completely different. This one smells completely different. Mmm. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna say, it definitely tastes different than the other corn snacks. Um, it can taste like a hint of corn, mostly just like saltiness and like a kick of the okinomiyaki that this snack smells more like okinomiyaki and it'll get you more excited when you smell it but when you're actually eating it it kind of just tastes like i'm <sighs> sad to say it but corn puffs that are saltier and maybe more of like a fishy taste so yeah no i actually i actually prefer this generic corn puff over the okinomiyaki one. So, there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching me open this entire Tokyo treat box. I ordered all the way from Japan. So, I think the verdict is that I definitely am happy with the three month subscription that I got. Um, I do not regret getting the box at all. So like I said before, once I tried this Black Thunder Party chocolate, um, the Grey Fanta and the Oreo Crispy Sakura flavor. I'm already sold on this entire box. I thought that it was worth it. Um, I guess for you, you just have to decide from what you've seen here today. Um, does it look like it's worth $33? In my mind, it totally is. I mean, just having been to so many Asian grocery stores and Japanese supermarkets, I know the cost of most of these things and it's quite expensive. If I were to go to Mitsua and try to buy, you know, similar snacks like these, I would probably spend at least 50 to $60 to get all of this. Um, and it wouldn't really even be possible because you would have to probably buy um, an entire pack of something instead of just being able to try like one of these, which you only want one piece of and that would be quite enough. For all, I'm extremely happy with my purchase. Very excited for the next two months, um, for July and August for my box to arrive. Uh, and I hope that you guys can give it a shot, especially if you've never been to Japan like me, um, or you like Asian snacks and you're sick and tired of the same you know, options that you have at your local grocery store, you wanna try something different, I highly recommend it. I think it's worth it. So thanks for watching guys and please like, comment, and subscribe for more content.